the show. Hi, thank you for having How me. How are you? Good, good. I'm so yes. happy you're here. Yes. Thank happy you for Halloween. Me. Happy Halloween. Happy you, Halloween, everyone. Happy Halloween, yeah. everyone. Are you? Uh, do you have any plans? Will you do anything? No, I'm gonna be at my mom's apartment giving candy to little people. Well, that's something. Yeah. Yes, that's You'll something. be giving out candy. And then you grew up in the city, so is that is would you would you just sort of like go like down the apartment hallway and? That's exactly. It. Yeah, I grew up in a building. I grew up like in a you know, multiple-story building, so it's weird. Yeah, because I see if I watch like American pop culture movies about Halloween, it's in the neighborhood, it's on the street, but I did it in a building with a row of apartments. <laughs> not, not a bad thing, just different. Yeah, just different. I mean, I assume you'd like knock out way more. Like, I would yeah, have, to go, way, to, like, yeah, no, I'd like, have to go to like five towns to knock out as many. No, I had like sugar intake problems <laughs> yes. growing up. Yeah, I, was, you, uh, I know you have, do you have a favorite uh, Halloween costume from over the years? I have like a couple of favorites. Like I did, I did Yugi from Yu-Gi-Oh one year. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> couple of Yu-Gi-Oh enthusiasts <laughs> here. I did, um, okay. I like was on this Spider-Man enthusiastic tint one yeah, year, okay. so I just got the outfit. But then that rightfully seemed like kind of douchey or something. Like to just wear the outfit is kind of like yeah, weird. that's a little show offy. Yeah. yeah, no, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, and uh, but then that was the year that was Spider-Man Turn Off the Dark was on Broadway that year. Yeah, and that was the Broadway version, not the celebrated Tom Holland highly profitable version. This was a this was. Um, like they they had a lot of accidents. A lot of yeah. people were like getting very hurt on it. So I a lot like, of like the sp yeah, there was like a sort of a trapeze type Spider-Man show. They were there not were some real Spider-Man. Yeah, they were, <laughs> they were real. They, they, were, they were stuntmen <laughs> with very real bones. So I just uh, just threw uh, threw a cast on and some crutches and. So you uh, were you were Spider-Man. Uh, I was Spider-Man oh. on Broadway. And now and this is the bit where I really should have a picture now. And I don't know why I don't have one. And I was so like. I don't know, confident about it. I have a friend from high school here with me, and I was like, remember when I did the Spider-Man? Like, oh, oh, Broadway thing, he has no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> so, uh, well, I wonder if people saw it and they jumped ahead to uh, one, you were doing Spider-Man on Broadway, or if they're like, oh, that poor guy broke his leg. Before Halloween, he's still toughing it out. Yeah, uh, yeah. So it was a little bit of that. It was also the fact that it was spandex and... Uh, I don't know how many spandex enthusiasts <laughs> we have in the audience, but that's a weird thing. Yeah. And there's body parts that are not used to that, and uh, so I was figuring that out the whole day. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's a lot. I'm yeah. so glad you worked through that Halloween. Thank you. Yeah, thank yeah. You. Appreciate, oh, yeah, it, thank you. appreciate it, appreciate it, appreciate it, yes. Uh, this is a, a, a wonderful, one of the people you're working with uh, that was in that clip is Joel Edgerton. Yes, who's he's one been of on my, here. Uh, yeah, he's yeah. one of my favorite guys. Uh, was he as much uh, fun to work with as I would think? A lot of fun, an extraordinary actor. Yeah, uh, the director of this movie, Joel Edgerton, the cinematographer, they're all Australian. Ben Mendelsohn, another great actor. <laughs> I, saw, I saw in the house! Okay. And, uh, and uh, so I feel like I was jumping into this creative uh, Australian circus. And, uh, and Joel and I, Falstaff and Prince Hal in the movie, they're quite close, so we try to get quite close in real life and hung out a lot. We did a Q&A recently. I got in trouble because I said... Um, I had never gone out with somebody that old before. <laughs> yeah. And that was like no shade or anything. But Joel is 94. No, no, no. Joel is. <laughs> jo yeah, anyway, so uh, it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. Can't yeah. take it back. Uh, a lot of people have commented on your haircut in the movie. Um, yeah. Uh, that's not a wig, right? That's the real deal. That's real, yeah. Are you. Um, <laughs> Very appropriate for the film. Are you happy it's grown out? Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to be done with it. And, uh, <laughs> you know, the big lesson is, like, nobody cares. And that's the lesson of life, I guess. Yeah. But, uh, I don't know, for things of hair, personality, whatever. You think, you think people are, no one cares. Yeah. No one cares. I would imagine, though, you have a haircut like this and you're on set and it's, you know, all these incredible costumes, these incredible actors, and, and they all have their hair and wardrobe. And then the minute you walk off the set, you must have a moment like, oh, this is a, this is a weird haircut. Oh, no, no, I have, like, an extraordinary hat collection. That, uh, <laughs> yeah, so I got good at that. Also, like, isn't it true, maybe I shouldn't use this, but isn't it true, like, that... You know, never mind, never mind, never mind. <laughs> it's funny, there are some people where I would push on it, and that already with you, I'm like, I think you're making the right call. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Whatever it is, I think you're making the right call. Um, uh, this is very exciting. Uh, uh, they're going to be Little Women. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is a re uh, reunion. Little Women! Uh, Little Women Warriors! Are, uh, okay, sorry. Uh, Saoirse Ronan, uh, Greta Gerwig, yes. who you worked with on Lady Bird. Yep. And uh, uh, we've talked, uh, uh, I've talked with some of your castmates from that film about how Greta is a director, tries to make everybody feel very, uh, you know, close ease, and welcome, yeah. at ease. They wear name tags. Uh, and I heard she had sort of a, a dance party, or I guess a yes. dance rehearsal yes. uh, for Little Women. How did that come about? Well, there's, uh, there's two big dance sequences in the film. One's with uh, Meg March, who's played by Emma Watson, and one's with Joe, who's played by Saoirse, and Saoirse Ronan, should say her whole name. <laughs> um, and, uh, 
and basically yeah, as an icebreaker, as a way to you know, lose our, our masks and our shields of defense and security, uh, Greta had us do this dance class in this big room. And uh, being the only guy was not the deficit. There maybe was no deficit. <laughs> but I will say, like, to, I grew up on Harry Potter in some way. I grew up seeing those movies. So that first time seeing Emma Watson, this is going to be weird for her to see now. <laughs> but, uh, but that was, like, definitely a, a weird moment. And uh, I had to, work, had to work past that. You worked yeah. past it? Yeah. 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 Do you think at the time... I mean, there was tons of therapy. There was, like, a lot of therapy. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's fine. yeah. I mean, I think a lot of times, the first time people see Emma Watson, they then have to at least do, like, a year of therapy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Depending on how big a Harry Potter fan you, you are, it might even be locked. Yeah. I can't, like... Uh, do you think I'm she ready knew to wholeheartedly agree with everything you say up here. So that was dangerous. <laughs> so I was like, I don't, I don't know if I agree with that. Uh, this is uh, it's very exciting uh, to have you here. It's so great to... Finally oh, meet you. you. I've been a fan me. for a long time. Yeah. Timothy Chalamet, everybody. <laughs>